Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing my Ipsy Plus versus BoxyCharm for March 2019. They are both beauty boxes where you get five full size um, to deluxe items every month. I believe the Ipsy has all full size and the BoxyCharm sometimes has deluxe. They're very similar in price range. So the BoxyCharm is $21 a month and the Ipsy Plus is $25 a month. I know some people were asking me to compare the Ipsy Plus to the Boxy Lux, but to me, I don't think that they're comparable boxes because Boxy Lux is double the price of the Ipsy Plus while the regular box charm is only $4 cheaper and there's about double the items in the box so I didn't think that that would be a fair comparison. If you want to see my Boxy Lux unboxing I will be posting that tomorrow which will be Sunday. Today is Saturday. So let's go ahead and get in. I will start with the Ipsy and then go to the Boxy Charm. I will leave a timestamp in the description down below if you just want to see the Boxy Charm part or if you just want to skip ahead. So like I said, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, even though there's not a bag, so Ipsy Plus is now is $25 a month. If you want to sign up, you have to sign up to the regular $10 sample size Ipsy first and then eventually you'll get off the wait list and you can get the $25 box. So if you're really interested in this, you do have to jump through a couple hoops before you can get this box. Um, so let's go ahead and get inside. I do know everything I'm getting, so it says don't be pretty them like them. No. Yeah, be pretty like you. There we go. And then there's always the blue styrofoam, and then there's everything I have. So let's go ahead and get in. So it talks about my Ipsy. Now, I'm doing this so late in the month. My Ipsy came on time. My BoxyCharm did not. I will talk more about the logistic issues with BoxyCharm this month when I get to the box. But I've had this sitting around for a while, so I have peeked inside, but I haven't used any of the products yet. So the first thing that it's talking to me about is a Huda Beauty um, Coral Obsessions palette, and it retails for $27. There were three different colors that you could have gotten. One was more neutrals, which would have been the one that I wanted to get, and then one was more purple. Now, for some reason, I was expecting this palette to be a lot bigger because this is like the size of the palm of my hand. It is not very big. But let's go ahead and open it up. Now, I know some people are not into Huda Beauty because they she is kind of, I guess, or the brand has been against gay people or trans people, so I know some people are against them. This is what it looks like. Um, I think that some of the shades I'll use, I'll probably stay away from more of the red. I'll probably use the more brown and neutrally shades rather than the reds. I have to be careful with reds. Although red, I have blue eyes, the red brings out the blue in my eyes. If I wear too red of looks because of my pale skin and light hair, I look sick. So, um, but uh, this will be fun to play with. I've never tried Huda Beauty um, formulas, so we'll see. Again, if you, you, you know, form your own opinions about the brand and then make your decision if you want to continue using their products. All right, from May, I have no idea how to pronounce that. We have an Above and Beyond Mascara retails for $20. I will take it out of the box, but I'm not gonna show you the bristles just because um, I don't want it to go bad. I know somebody got mad at me in the comments last time, but sorry, I'm not wasting my mascara just because you wanna see the wand. But that is what it looks like, it's in black. Um, I love getting mascaras because I hate buying mascaras, so it's great. Then we have a Benefit Dandelion Shy Beam highlighter. This retails for $26. I'll leave all the prices and totals down below between the BoxyCharm and um, Ipsy Plus if you want to see. So I'm going to open the box, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to really take it out very much because this is going to go into giveaway. So tomorrow in my Boxy Lux unboxings, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. This is what it looks like. Um, you can't really see it. Let me show you a picture of what it looks like. So I don't really like using liquid products because I have oily skin. It just doesn't tend to work very well for me. I'll put that in the box here in a second. I'm struggling. So that is kind of what it looks like there. I'm just not really into that. Not really my type of product. So again, that will be going in a giveaway tomorrow. That giveaway will be open until the following Sunday, which I believe is like April 3rd? Somewhere around there, whatever Sunday that is, that's when it will close. So the next thing is from Pure Lease, and this is their Bl Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer. Retails for $45. Love getting moisturizers. I love getting skincare. So this is a fun item to receive. Um, and it's 1.7 ounces. It says it's for normal, dry, and sensitive skin. I have oily skin, so I don't know. I feel like Ipsy Plus is having a harder time with profiles. Like the regular Ipsy Glam Bag seems to be fairly good, but some of the stuff that I get in here, like I'm pretty sure I say I don't want highlighters and that I don't want certain things, but whatever. And then the last item is from Farah, and this is their Five Piece Eye Perfection Brush Set, which retails for $50. Now, I don't know if I'd pay $10 for each one of these little brushes, but I have, like, the Farah brushes that we've gotten previously. If I can get these out. Struggling here a little bit. All right. So this brush here, so this is all the brushes. 
there. These two um, brushes here would be really good just for like blending or in the crease. I like to use a fluffy brush in the crease. Um, and then this one would be good for, you know, um, when you really want to pack down shadow and these are good um, as well. I mean, these are going to be fun to play with. I like the brushes. We got a gold set one of the months, but I really have enjoyed um, their brushes. So, and these actually feel better quality than some of the brushes I've got from them in the past. Sometimes their brushes, fairer brushes seem a little bit cheap. So um, that is this box. Um, let me go ahead and do a rating. So when I have boxes that have five items, I do a rating. So I give them a point. If I like it, I'm gonna use it. Zero points, if I'm not gonna like it, it's not for me, not gonna use it. And then half a point, if I'm not really sure, I'm gonna try it out and then I'll see how I feel about it. So the brushes will get a point. The mascara gets a point, so we're at two points. The moisturizer gets a point, so we're at three points. I'm not sure how often I'll gravitate towards this Huda Beauty palette, so I'll give it a half point, so three and a half points. And then the Dandelion, um, oops, there's paperwork coming out of it. The Dandelion um, Shy Beam, not gonna use it. So we're at three and a half points for Ipsy Plus this month. Not my favorite, not the worst. So let's go ahead and get into the Boxy Charm. So some of the items that I'm going to be getting in here are going to be duplicates to what I'm going to be getting in my Boxy Luxe, and that's part of why I'm doing the giveaway. Some of the duplicates I'm going to give to my sister, but I will tell you which ones I won't. So um, this month, the theme is La Vie and Rose. So here are a couple of the issues that BoxyCharm had this month. First of all, they shipped out a bunch of boxes, and you've already probably seen most people review this, but then there was a huge group of people whose boxes got delayed. So I have two different accounts for BoxyCharm. One is my main account where I have the upgrade to the Boxy Luxe, and then on the months where I have the Boxy Luxe, I also sign up for the regular BoxyCharm so I can do this video. So I have two accounts, both my Boxy Luxe and my BoxyCharm just got delivered today. So it took a really long time to get them. Then some people, there is a, um, one of the products is a Cover FX um, Perfector Face Palette and it can come in light to medium or medium to dark. And they, I know that I wasn't affected by this, but I know that they were sending emails to people to tell them, oh, we're sorry, we sent you the wrong shade. Um, we apologize, but they didn't have any more in stock or whatever. So they just gave people the amount of points in their shop page or whatever, their um, charms, their charm rooms that you could get stuff with it. Um, so if you really wanted that, it's a little bit disappointing. If you're medium, maybe you could go both. If you're a true medium, you could probably use both. It just depends on the products. Um, and maybe that's what the, they were having a hard time with. And then, and I'll address this more in my Boxy Lux video, I got an email on my Boxy Lux email to tell me that oh, we're sorry, but we've gotten you a duplicate product to something you've already gotten before, which I was confused about because based on the spoilers, all the spoilers I had seen from the Boxy Lux, none of the products should have been duplicates. So I'm curious to get into that tomorrow. If you're curious as well, just wait till tomorrow and see in that video. So there were a lot of issues with Boxy Charm this month. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get in. So like I said, the theme is Livian Rose. It's really cute and pretty with the um, macaroons and the um, flowers. So the first thing that I am pulling up is from Moda, and these are the Powder and Soft Glow Brushes. These retail for $29.99, and let's go ahead and open them up. So I love getting brushes because I don't like spending my actual money on brushes. Not that I'm not spending my actual money on this box, but I just have a hard time spending money on brushes. So here they are. Ooh, I like that already, I can tell. So these are the two brushes here right out of the package. So this one is gonna be great for powder. And I've been trying to experiment more with my powder brushes. You could also, it is dense enough that you could probably use it for um, contour or blush or anything like that. I'll probably will try to use it for powder and we'll see how it goes. And then there's this tapered brush, which I believe you'd probably use for highlighting. And I've never had like a floppy highlighter brush like this before. I've wanted to try one, so I'm really excited to try this out and see if I like it. If not, I mean, there's other uses for it as well, but I've never used a floppy, I'm calling it a floppy highlighter brush, I'd, whatever. But um, I'm excited to try that out. So that's awesome. Then from Wander Beauty, there is the Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask, and this retails for $34. Um, so I love masks and I love skincare. So I'm really excited for this product. Um, I'm very picky when it comes to peel off masks though, because I've had a lot of bad luck with peel off masks. So peel off masks, when you put them on are supposed to peel off in one piece. And there's one mask that I've, there's only one peel off mask that I've ever tried that has truly done that. And that is the, um, copper and crane peel off mask. And I love that mask. So I'm excited to try this one out. I'm curious to see if it will peel off. If your mask doesn't peel off easily, it is a 
pain to get it off because it gets really sticky and stuck to your skin and you have to like scrub your face for forever um, or just wait a really long time to dry. I always recommend if it's, um, let's see, how long does it tell you to, it says 10 to 15 minutes. I would expect to be sitting there double that time, so for 30. I always double that time just because you really want to make sure it's dry before you peel it off. If it's still wet, it's a pain. So, um, but I'm very, very excited to try that out. And I believe it's a light pink color. I don't want to open it because I, I am using a peel-off mask right now and don't need to have a whole nother one open. So the next thing I'm seeing is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Monaco. And this retails for $20. So I got an Ofra lipstick before. I can't remember if it was Ipsy Plus or BoxyCharm. And I really wanted to try the formula, but the color was way too dark for me and I didn't want it. I, I would have just wasted it. So I'm excited to get one. This is a metallic kind of color. It's looking really dark up in camera, but in person it's not this dark. So let me go ahead and swatch this. This would probably be better for a, well, actually, I, so I'm not a huge fan of just plain metallic, but that might look good, like, as a, I could wear that, like, in the middle of the lip just to add a little bit of shine, or I'll, I may just try it on my lip and see. This, this metallic isn't too bad. Sometimes when you put metallic on your lips, it emphasizes every single crack, and it just doesn't look appealing, so, um, but I'm really, really excited to try this out. Then, from Appeal Cosmetics, there is the Liquid Eyeshadow, and this is in... I don't know. Rose gold, I think is what it says. This is what it looks like here. And this retails for $21. So I'm not into liquid eyeshadow, so this will be going into my giveaway, so I won't be swatching it, but that is what it looks like. Um, so that will be going in my giveaway with the Benefit highlighter. Then the product that I was talking about is the Cover FX Face Palette. So this one did come in light medium, which is my correct shade. So I'm hoping that my Boxy Lux has it as well. Um, I, if it if it is the same shade, then I will be giving the Cover FX one that I get in that box um, away as well in the giveaway. And so this is what it looks like. So you have a contour shade, two highlighters, a finishing powder here, a brightener there, which I'm guessing the brightener is probably more like for inner corner, um, just to brighten that up. And then you have a blush. So this is a really cute face palette. This retails for $45. I'm, I'm really, really excited to try this out. Last month I got a face palette in the Ipsy Plus. Um, it was a flop. The, um, it just wasn't pigmented. And I will be doing a quarterly favorites and flops. That will probably come around the end of March, beginning of April. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Um, that will be in that video, but I'm really excited to try this out. So that was everything that I got in the BoxyCharm. Let me go through and do the same point system for this. So I am excited for the Cover FX face palette. Um, so that is a point. The brushes are a point as well. So that's two points. Face mask is a point. Ofra lipstick is gonna be a half a point just because I don't know about the metallic and how often I'm gonna wear it. So that's three and a half points. And then where did the eyeshadow go? I put it somewhere. Oh, I put it over here. This is zero points. So three and a half, maybe actually four, if I give this a full point. So I think BoxyCharm was better than Ipsy Plus this month. What did you think? Did you get different items in your box? I know probably definitely you did in the Glam Bag Plus because they tend to have a little bit more variants. I'm curious. Let me know what you got, which box you prefer. I will leave links down below if you're interested in signing down, or signing down, signing up for either of the boxes. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video.